Hello and welcome. I'm Gary Willock and today we're out on a project looking at a roof with the subcontractor and actually I just met with them and it's only one subcontractor. This is the subcontractor that's going to come in and remove all this concrete tile from this roof. This is nearly 8,000 square feet of concrete tile. This is a three-story on the backside, very steep, very, very important that the guys wear harnesses. It's very important to get off to a good start to get your roof done correctly. I'll be back to tell you more. So here we are on the project, and as you can see, this is a complex driveway combination. Now in the background, as you see over here, behind the blue truck, you also see top of a trailer down there. Now that's the area that can be parked while they're doing the tear off. It's important that we do this without damaging what is here. You cannot do that without planning. And while they were here, we decided not to use their large trailer that they had intended to use. Instead, we're gonna get a smaller dump trailer or actually a couple of them to use to be sure to get this out. We're also gonna to have to be protective of the driveway so nothing breaks and flies out of the trailer, hits the concrete, scarring the concrete. So there'll be a large heavy duty tarp placed there. There'll be decking around the garage door, around the stucco, and so the guys are set up well. Now this is just one of the many trades that are coming in. They're doing the removal and they're doing the dry in with an ice and water shield. While they're on the job, I'll be the superintendent of this particular job and I will help them understand every detail of the ice and water shield. How the manufacturer says it has to be sealed together on the end laps. We're gonna be nailing it. Those fasteners are gonna be underneath the overlap as it comes down. And so what that means is there's gonna be no penetrations visible on this roof at all until the roof starts to go on. And that's gonna be a very unique system. It's gonna be a vented system. So there's gonna be carpenter crew come in, install a vent system on top of this, and then battens, and then the metal goes on top. But before that, we've gotta tear into the stucco and put proper flashings. Without the proper flashings, you're putting on a roof that should be a lifetime roof without it lasting a lifetime or without it lasting long at all because if you just caulk it to the wall, you're relying on caulk in a climate that just is not tolerant of that or the caulk is not tolerant of this cli climate. I'm not sure which. I think it's the latter. So with every project, there needs to be a lot of planning. We let the project manager do that. It's very, very important that there's a project manager. Currently, there's zinc ordered for this. We're going to be using zinc on a lot of the flashings because they have to be curved around the wall. We're going to create a valley that's curved around the wall, also out of zinc with a hook to it, much like our other valleys that we use for metal roofing. So the metal roofing, which would be a colored metal roofing, can clip into that. The project manager's already set it up with our paint supply store, Kelly Moore, the best quality paint they have that we will be using on this and we use that Kelly Moore paint because we've learned to trust it. There's a specific primer that we use going over the metal and that's going to be done on the zinc applications because we want it to match the colored panel which is going to be a Kynar coated so it will last and last and last. We call this a roof project. It's really a roof renovation. It needs a lot of work to get it right. For 20 some years, it's been leaking around this curved area on front of the house. And so we're gonna be eliminating that problem permanently. A good metal roof should last 30, 40, I believe 50 years. If you do some maintenance, like keep the leaves swept off so it doesn't really affect the finish. The Kynar coating is the best out there. It's got reflectivity to it, even in the dark colors, which we are using a dark bronze on this one. I think it is dark bronze. And that has ceramic chips in it to create more reflectivity for those dark colors. 